Hello and welcome to the last video I'm recording before the Pro Tour. Yes, I'm flying out to the Pro Tour in Minneapolis very, very soon. Excited for that. Standard and Draft is going to be the types of formats we're going to play there. And today we will be featuring another sweet standard deck. Lehman Nagasako is the username on MTG Melee. Apparently a rather, you know, not a small tournament in Japan happened. And this list went 8-2 and two in that tournament. Very interesting. We have some new cards in here. We have the Invasion of Amonkhet four times. When it enters the battlefield for free mana, each player mills three cards. Then each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. So it mills you and your opponent. Maybe find some reanimation shenanigans, right? Milling you. And then discards them a card, draws you a card. So it's a little card advantage. Card advantage, actually. It's, it's sort of like a divination. And on top of that, we do have the battle, which we can attack or blow up or destroy, whatever we have to get rid of this. And have the Lazotep Convert enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature cut in the graveyard, which means you, as a 4-4 as a four, four zombie edition, so it won't be like um, the original size, um, but yeah, it will have the same abilities. And it will also have the same enter the battlefield trigger because it is cast and then it enters the battlefield. So that means you, yes, you get a Traxa Grand Unifier trigger of the Lazotep. Um, so the trick here is essentially to build a deck that defeats the battle and then you get the Traxa trigger. But the nice thing about the battle is that, hey, uh, you know, I can just play a grindy, mid rangey, blue black strategy because it's actually it's just already a 2 for 1 on the front side. And then, hey, I have this thing sitting around and I can attack it and get even more value out of the deal. You know, you don't even have to have a tracks in a graveyard. You can copy any creature card in any graveyard. So, I don't know if your opponent has a Rafine or something like that, or a Corpse Appraiser. Hey, go ahead and copy those. And you get yourself some value. So, this is, uh, this is a nice reanimation card, just like similar to Cruelty of Gigs, honestly. Cruelty of Gigs is a reanimation card, of course, too, but hey, you can just play a fair game with this. So uh, I really like the look of this deck. And another card that is not new, but hasn't seen any play before, really, is the Evangel of Synthesis, which really makes a lot of sense in this deck. Comes to play, draws a card, discards a card. So discards you that, reanimation target. And whenever you draw on your second card each turn, it gets one plus own Menace, which is perfect with the Invasion. You go Evangel, play Invasion, draw an extra card. This gets a trigger or becomes a free free Menace, attacks the Invasion down to one. And then you, yeah, you, you already have good pressure there. So, really nice deck. Um, the rest of the deck, you know, it's filled out with the usual stuff. Go for the Throat and Cutdown for uh, the creature decks. Go the rest, you know, make the make clear the way. It's always nice to have some the rest of Cruelty of Geeks in your deck. Make disappear in some Counter Magic Bankbuster. Hey, has full power, can attack the, the invasion quite well. A couple of Lianas, why not? Shieldred, you know, always play one. I mean, you have Cruelty, why not? And then Air Tie. Which is nice with the Evangel, pumps that up. And hey, uh, you can, if you play Invasion, then pass the turn on turn 4, your opponent does something, you play Airtai, counter that, they draw a card. I'm not the biggest fan of Airtai usually, but in this deck, a free 2 all of a sudden means that you can, hey, maybe deal that extra damage to the Invasion to flip it. So I'll, I like the idea of that. And uh, yeah, the rest, Cruelty and Attraxa, which we, you know, we can just do that, right? So uh, Mana Base even has the Plaza of Heroes, which we've seen in, in Rakdos uh, Sacrifice. Uh, sorry, not Sacrifice. Reanimator. And uh, yeah, I really like that idea to protect your various legendaries. And foremost, of course, Atraxa. Sideboard, we're looking at more Cutdown, of course. A couple of the rest more. Razor Lash Transmigrant, also great against Grixis, of course. And, you know, various decks. Just get control, I suppose. Two more Bankbusters for the grind. Two more Negates for the counters. Path of Peril down here for some... You know, uh, it's sort of the black temporary lockdown, gets rid of the uh, toxic soldier starts that are too fast. You know, you could make a case that malicious malfunction or glistening illusion are better, but uh, Path of Peril does it pretty good. You know, it's also good against Monoray, especially against Kumano that makes a free, free a Felden, for example. Path of Peril doesn't care about the size of the creature, it's just going to kill the Felden, even if it's free, free through Kumano. And a fourth go for the throat. All, all in all, this list just looks rock solid. We got a one Toxrel on the side, but as well which is uh, a, a sideboard bullet against um, Mono White. Although I think that nowadays you might want to have the, the Breach the Multiverse, which I'm, you know what, I'm just going to do that change. Breach the Multiverse is, I think, a pretty powerful card in a reanimation deck, and especially if the games go long and it's not about being fast, you can just find a track of that. And if you play against Mono White, where you really want that card, I think, then you're going to find, you know, what, like 
Eternal Wanderer at best, right? And so you get like a Traxxer and Eternal Wanderer in one swoop for seven mana, and the mono white player is just sitting there, you know, like can't uh, can't do nothing. So yeah. All right, that is Demir Reanimator. I'm pretty excited to trying out Invasion of Amakunt. Let's have some Traxxer fuck. Yeah, I mean this seems totally fine. Yeah, let's go with this. Got a two drop. I'm just missing one land. Are we playing against Monorad? Monorad has to be a good matchup in theory, right? If you think about it, like we have cheap black removal. Hmm. That was a good draw. That was uh, the best draw, actually. <laughs> By a mile. Um, yeah, we have Cut Down, we have Shared, we have Attraxa. We can gain some life. Mm -hmm. Alright, yep. Yeah. I'll take all the damage. I'm gonna play with fire here. No, oh, I'll just cut down this then. The advantage also is nice. It's a 2 free. Good blocker here. Although I could just pass with make disappear. Hmm. I think they have play with fire. Maybe next turn I'm gonna pass with make disappear to counter uh, Raiju. Like a squee is not gonna be good here. Furnace Punisher will be a little annoying. Deals me two. Duress. I think Duress can go. Invasion, actually, you know, like, making them discount. We could snack, like, their last burn spell. It's gonna trade, so it's good. Kumano, sure. Three cards in hand. Yeah, if this is their turn, I'm just gonna pass, I think, next turn. Yeah. Playing the Glade to um, hard cast the tracks so. out. I'm staying back with the two freezes. It's not about me racing them, it's about me establishing control. So I'll just, just stay back on blocking duty. Multiple Mishra's foundries. A little bit annoying. There's the Raiju as I expected. Yep. Glad I didn't play my invasion. Now we have the choice between... I guess we have multiple choices, huh? I think the choice is clear now. I'll just play, I'll just play Shieldred. And I'll still stay back with this, because... If I attack with this, and then they um, attack with the Kumano, then... Um, I don't want to play with the Shieldred, because they might have Lightning Strike. So I, I want to just keep back here. Or maybe that is a bit too extra save. Hmm. They're choosing to uh, attack the foundry. They're clicking on it. If they attack with one foundry, they can pump with the other. If they have another red land, they can... Uh, Play with fire my shield with if I choose to block the 4 4 foundry. The Phoenix, okay. Well, go ahead and discard, please. Also, gain two life. And with shield in play, we just snap attack that thing. That's nice. And we can uh, copy. I guess we just copy Raiju. I mean, we still get a 4 4, you know? Like it's. <laughs> On top of the already pretty solid effect for free mana, that seems seems pretty good. I'm just get a menace here, Atai. Um, yeah, I'll just attack for Shieldred and keep back the three, three. They will jump maybe. Um, I guess I could go more aggressive. I, I really don't see myself losing the the race with children in play. It's just like, yeah. It's pretty much impossible. They just cut it to play with fire. I mean I guess uh, I guess what I ran into here is uh lightning strike. <sighs> yeah, no, I, I I messed up. I should have just killed the Kumar first. Yeah, 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 I should have killed the commander, just attacked the battle. Don't, don't be, like, didn't, I, I should have considered lightning strike. 
It's okay. I'm probably still gonna win, but yeah, that that could have been sequenced better. Squeen. Okay. That's fine. What's the last card? I guess I'll just do rest, right? Why not? Hmm, it's a Zorkin sound. Okay. Well, it wasn't a lightning strike, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Just go all out. Make the Zokan sound attack with everybody. No. Okay. Yeah, they're just dead now. They are just dead. Swing. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, sweet. Yeah, in post, but this only should get better. Uh, let's see. I'll take out the rest. I'll take out Bankbuster. Make disappear is not that great on a draw. I like the shield red. I like Path of Peril. I like go for the road. I like cut down. And that's pretty much it, I guess. So I, I suppose. I'll take the make disappear back. Yeah, Liliana is not great, but she's fine. I mean, uh, maybe she's worse than make disappear. Rest looks decent. Could consider Bankbuster. It's like we're, we're stocking up on removal a lot. Could theoretically uh, get out grinded. But then again, we have Cruelty Invasion. I think it's gonna be difficult to 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 get out of grind it. <laughs> Do I like this hand? I think it's too clunky. I think it's too risky. I don't need a third land drop. How do I have Path of Peril? I mean, but I also have to hit the third land drop. And these cruelties, you know, they're not great. Oof. Maybe I need to keep this. I just hope for the best. Hope to draw a blue land. I'll try. Right, going to five is rough. This hand is good if I draw blue. Mm, second cruelty, yikes. Mm. Really didn't win because we had reanimation shenanigans going on in that last game. We just won because we had normal mid range, you know, doing our thing. Okay, well. You know, that's not the worst card ever, I guess. If, if I draw a land, I can catch back up. Hmm. Not a player. If they have Raiju, I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah, by in trouble, probably dead. They put counter there, weird. Maybe it's smart actually. Huh. I don't know. Uh okay, we done. Well that didn't work out. Could have gone to five, of course, but that's you know, that's also playing with fire. Liliana's a bit better on the play. I think I'm gonna ex make that exchange. Could maybe trim cruelty attracts her? I don't know. The graveyard, the, the reanimation stuff. I guess you really. If you're not playing Blood Type Harvest and you're not playing Fable, you don't have that much discard, huh? 
Yeah. Oh my god, what's going on? How many lands is this egg playing? Oh, it's only playing 20. No, it's playing 26, I think. I can get rid of one of tracks that easy. Yeah, this hand's good. I like this hand. Bind the tracks, so set up reanimation. Chick, chick. All right. And there's our reanimation spell. So now we just need five mana. Get to five. Sounds good. Mana, okay. All right. I, I mean, I don't mind drawing lands. As soon as we get that 7-7 seven, seven lifelinker onto the board, I think the prospects of winning this game uh, should be pretty high. That is actually awkward, huh? I can't kill it with either of my cards. Hmm. That is most definitely awkward. I think I cut down this chick now. So, am I supposed to do that? Hmm. Oh well, I mean, I'm just gonna have a 7-7 seven, seven next turn, <laughs> and I hope that that is enough. Put some full control so they might think I have a removal, a counter. They play Rage over here. That would not be good. Okay. Lightning strike my Evangel. Hit me for 7. Looks like it, yeah. Hit me for not 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 seven eight actually right. I go to six. Well, that means I just die against any burn spell next turn. Right, because they can, they can kill their blocker. Yeah. But yeah, they can kill the creature that they block that I block for the tracks. So. <laughs> I don't want to have the phoenix check now. Shieldred. Land battle. Enchantment. And. Cut down, go for the throat. Probably just to go for the throat, huh? Well, seven cards in hand, but might not be enough. I mean, I lose against Lightning Strike, play with Fire. Do I lose against Raichu? At 13, probably don't lose against Raichu. Everybody, huh? Block Squee, I guess. <laughs> Definitely don't block Felden. I assume I'm dead. I, s I assume they see the line. They have Lightning Strike and Dead. It's exactly six as well. Oh. Never mind. I'm not dead. I'm very alive. Very alive, actually. But my Atrax is an exile. Well. We go do this. I mean, this worked out perfectly for me. Can't complain. I'm gonna go for the throat that squee or whatever they bring to the board now. And we just take over. Two cards in hand. I guess I'll just. Uh... Hmm. Play this and then shield it, or play Evangel, keep up and make this appear. I think playing shield it is fine here. Let's see what we draw. It's like if they have another rending flame, you know, just like I have cruelty, I just get shield it back. Squee. I guess the one unfortunate thing about this is that. <laughs> They have more fodder for the squee now. It looks like they have Rending Flame as last card. 
All right. Oh, yeah, I think I'm still pretty, pretty, pretty good here. Okay. Uh, do I have any graveyard exiling? I guess that's what that's that's what the deck does not play. You no know, graveyard trespasser, nothing like that. Mm, graveyard trespasser would be a nice card for this deck, I think. So I guess I'll just get the shield back. I could have played the Avenger first. I'm not going to keep up make disappear anyways. Like there's nothing to, yeah, I should have just played the Avenger first. That was a little bit of a missequencing. Although, actually, maybe not, because now I get to gain a life. Two life. Hmm. Maybe it was a smart play all along. <laughs> Learning. New interactions. Evangel plus Shieldred gains two life. Uh. Learn by seeing, really. Squee, squee, squee! How about you sack that squee? If you don't mind. Ah, that is it. Alright. First match, good showing. Alright, on a play. Let's go. Mm, yeah, I can work with this. So uh, I took a dinner break after recording the first match, and apparently the the thing reset the season. So we're we're back in platinum now, playing against uh, Mono Blue Tempo. Apparently, maybe likely, we'll see. It's the only deck that I can fathom. Yeah, there's a Holy Journey then. Um, cut down not that great in this matchup. Some have Delver, but I think most lists don't run Delver. Okay, let's just jam. Okay. That's fine. Make him have it. Cool. Attack. How do you like them? Bank Busters. Okay. With first thing. First thing is fine. I want to keep this for flow or gin. Hmm. I like another evangel. That actually cruised the bank bus as well, so I could swing for seven. Huh. Yeah, let's just get rid of the cruelty and just play this blue black mid range game plan here. With interaction and pressure. They're fading up maybe on the bank buster. Oh. New card. Alright. Hmm. Do I play the bank buster or do I not? That is the question. The question. I think I'll play it. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure if I like that card. Freeman has a lot. Fading up. Fading up seems better. Yeah, fading up is like a lot better than this. That's for sure. So it's like, do you want to play a card that's a lot worse than fading up? Oh, I don't know. Second card each turn, so I could give them Menace. Could try to kill one Terror and then give my friends Menace, attack for six. Yeah, I guess I'll try, but if they have anything, it's not going to work. And they drew a lot of cards. I guess I won't try. Oh, I'll just stay back. I was thinking about doing it in response to that. But... Okay. Well, now I'm going to kill one Terra. I'm not... I don't think I'm winning this game. Though. Like, if they drop one Jin, I only have one more answer to it. I guess I'll... If they drop the Jin, I'll just make this appear. It. Yeah, my opponent's just outgrinding me here. If they... If... Like, five to two cards... 
I, I, I gotta play scared about flow. If I can't really tap out with Bankbuster, I think, because then flow of knowledge gets me. But I think I have to, though. I just... I have to draw a card here. I have to get some cards going. Okay. And the gin. Um, okay. Well, it's fine. It's not fine, but <laughs> what can I do? Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll lay a tie here. Try to kill the gin. Hope that works. Okay, that worked. We have a little bit of a staring contest now. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, you gotta take into account that this is the first day of the new season, or the first hours. So, all my opponents are mythic. Yeah, okay. Uh, I gotta counter that. Um. Side one of those. What's going back? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, true. They can do that. Hmm. I mean, no. Jin is a 10 power creature. Sacking your, your Terra to save it does make sense. Let's draw cards. Da da da. Da da da. All right, take 10. Mm -hmm. Nice little massage to my face. Yes, feels good. Hmm, highly recommend. Now they're gonna cast flow in my upkeep or what? They put a stop in my upkeep for some reason, I don't know why. Ah, yeah, ha, swamp, it's swamp, very nice, very, very useful. Ah, Rafin's Tower. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. Lovely. Ah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm very, very dead. Okay, cool. Not cool. Um, well. Yeah, I mean, the whole reanimator shenanigans are probably not where you want to be. Cut down is ter terrible. The rest is good. Go through the road. Shield it. Bankbuster. Bankbuster. Probably want the negates, might want the race slash just as a two minute free one. <laughs> beats, beats, beats. Um Whack. Whack kills the devil. Alright, I'll I don't know, I'm just going full just you know. Cut the expensive stuff. Cut the you know the invasion is still gonna be fine, just as a discard draw card for three mana, it's gonna be okay. Matchup is a little grindy. Um, the mono blue deck is really like a blue control deck in a way. And it has these eight kill conditions, just surrounded by a bunch of card draw counters. Yeah. It's not really like mono blue decks in the past used to be tempo -y. You played like Curious Obsession on your one drops that, fl that had flying and you like protected them more. And this deck has It's much more, you know, just a control deck. A control deck that can have a fast kill. And Plaza isn't the best here with Evangel, but we do have two colorless cards I can cast. I think I just used the Bankbuster here. Huh. 
also discard this, which is nice. Uh, hmm. Nah, probably discard one of these. You got it. Scry to the top. I wonder what that is. Let's do rest them. Let's see what's up. Uh huh. Who have you over the gate? Okay. Oh, we're missing land drops. That's big. That's very important. It's very good for me. Oh, nice. Make this appear. Uh, I like my position somewhat. Okay. The rest number two. What do I not want? Maybe another invasion? Yeah, I think the invasion. Uh, let's attack for seven. Okay. That's. That's fine by me, honestly. Yeah, I'll draw more cards, okay. Don't mind if I do. But first, let's do rest. Not a negade. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay. I I mean I considered that line, but I was like, yeah, if they're going to do that, I think I'm pretty happy. Like, that means no board presence. I just get to do what I want here. Attack for ten. Uh, pass probably. Yeah, I mean, how are they going to get all of this? Yeah, exactly. Like. Sure, I could have, yeah, kept up make this appear instead of playing the bankbuster, but if they go flow on turn 5, no board presence, don't see how you're getting back. <clears throat> they, have, they, they kept a lot of bounce still in the deck, which looked pretty bad. You know, it sometimes happens with the mono blue deck, if it doesn't draw impulse and consider and first for discovery in the early game, it can sometimes be a little stuck. I think that's rather unlikely because again, I just, you know, that's 12 cards, right? 12 card selection spells. So on average, you should be fine. Hmm. I think I've got to pass. I'm going to play my Bankbuster into a two open mana. Uh, I'll play that, I guess. I'm less worried about that. Getting countered. Ah, okay. Huh. Yeah. Maybe I should have waited and just countered that first. Hmm. Just pass the turn. They probably cast the first end of turn. You just make this appear. It's a good, good trade for me. Yeah. It looks like they, they even they didn't even draw cards on that exchange. I guess I get rid of a go for the fraud. Or maybe I make this appear. Not sure. Make this appear can be dead if they continue making land drops. Then on the other, they just discarded two spells, which kind of means they don't have lands left. Oh, the Liana's looking very nice here. Personal 
I remember playing the tempo deck myself a lot. The card that I hated the most was Liliana of the Bear. And Graveyard Trespasser, those two are rough. Okay, that's pretty good. Stock up on a lot of cards. Hmm. I want to draw a card here. Okay. Uh, let's discuss this. We all have things we'd rather avoid. I don't think they're going to cast another flow here. They probably cast some creatures, but that's going to be bad against a Lily. Yeah. Oh. I didn't think about that. I should have. I should have thought about it. Nasty core. Funny. Must be cool. Can't kill that. Awkward. Uh. Huh. Uh, what do I do? I mean, I can try to counter it, I guess, but then... Yeah, I can just hope they don't draw the... Oops, no, wait a minute. I can hope they don't draw that land. Well, I guess I could have played Evangel and then jump block the Terror. All right. Yeah, maybe I should if I play this, but then they have make this appear for the like. Then I have to go for the throw the two three, play this guy, jump block the five five, and then they have a counter spell for my next go for the throw on the terror. Uh, I don't know. Essence capture as well, but I guess I'll just counter back. I guess I'll just do this first. They also have to discard a card each time. Hmm. Interesting. So I couldn't maybe get him. All right, let's play this. They probably has an essence capture, right? No, maybe. We can make this appear. We'd be happy to just trade cards because this is the must, the musty core is gonna yeah actually musty core is pretty taxing and uh, this Amon Cat card is next turn gonna rip my opponent's last card in hand away, which means musty core will have to be sacrificed. Sure, I can blow up one of these things. That's fine. I mean, it could be a flow of knowledge, of course. Ah, uh, doesn't seem to be. All right, sweet. It was a land. Oh, you gotta sack that Masticore. And next turn, I can get that Masticore if I want. Uh, yeah, maybe, and probably not. No, probably not. 
don't need it, but touche. I guess I won't get any creature next turn. Mm hmm. Three, five, six. Okay. Um, I could just play this as a free two. Kill that. That's probably. Is that wise to do? What if they draw a flow? You know. I'll just keep up my attack. I should have played the untap land though in case I. Yeah. This game's not over by any means. I don't have any advantage yet. Like, I have a little card advantage, but if they draw a flow, I might lose. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. I have exactly 10, so I can go Razor Lash plus Airtile. That's good. Ha ha ha. Whew. Okay, glad that I played it patient this time. Yeah, you can have one card, but not eight. One is fine, not eight, though. Oh, this comes into play untapped? I thought it always comes into play... What? What? I didn't... What? I didn't... Damn. Huh. So I could have crewed the bankbuster and just killed this thing already turn earlier to get a terror in play or I guess just an evangel to get rid of one yeah okay good to know good to know jeez should know that I should really know that play first yes please mm, okay against the right opponent is gonna be good monitor aggro soldiers toxic esp legends Grixis Maybe. No, my bank buster. Okay, we milled in a track sign. They have trespasser. Oh no, are they gonna trespass on my track sign? Ugh, look at my hand. Ooh. Okay, that was so that was good. Get rid of one of these five bad cards. Ah, draw another bad card. Oof. Ooh la la, this is not good. At least this didn't flip, I guess. Yeah, but they can just keep the grave at empty now. Then the lasso tap. I mean, at least it will be a vanilla 4-4, four four, I suppose. So it won't fizzle, just like cruelty of gigs would. If you had no target, you still get a 4-4. Four four. Don't play a shit, Red. Okay, that's... Please more of that. Play a second one. Come on, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. I got a little punished for not playing. Should break Marsh there. <laughs> the reason why I didn't want to do that is because I need two plaza to hard cast a Traxxer. And in case I draw another one of these, for example, then I want to have this land to discard. So maybe I got rewarded in the end for my line of play. Yeah, looks good. And um, kill that. Attack the invasion. Uh, um. Okay. Sorry, I did a little bone crack cracking there. Nothing too serious. Cruelty of gigs, of course, would be a nice top deck. I put them down to two cards.
Yeah, they can't really attack, can they? Because then I get to flip the invasion. Points deep in the tank here. Hmm, that's a good card. Ugh. Do I just try my luck? But what I can't find nothing that I can use this turn. Alright guys, we're just gonna draw a Traxa next turn. I guess this gives me more looks to attract, huh? Oh, this got nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. They have invoked despair, I guess. Hmm. Gonna attack. Exile both harvesters. Hmm. I assume my double bark won't work. Against like a removal. Hmm. Hmm. How am I winning? Just take it. Just take it and then. Nothing. Kept both cards, don't want to do anything else, so it's weird. Okay, I'll try my luck. I have a couple hits. I did hit an air tie, okay. And dress. Let's try attacking the invasion. Oh. Huh. I could. Counted the trigger. Nah, it's fine, I guess. Mm hmm. Sure. I'll just kill the goblin. They get to draw a card, and then we do resin. Just hope they have an invoked despair. Okay, well. Take to go for the throat, I guess. Hmm. Well, I won't be able to attack though. So they have cut down and then it's Kiki against my two creatures. Kiki and Trespass against two creatures, so we'll get in top deck mode. Oh, they're attacking. Okay, that, that must mean you drew another removal now. Put me to five. Hmm. Evangel, all right. If we, if we actually draw in a truck, that'd be so insane. Discard it and then get it back. Oh, damn, no such luck. So we will just get nothing, okay. So uh, do I? Gotta be a little careful, they can copy. Uh, I mean, it's probably okay, I think. Oh, it's... Well, still need to top deck here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Doing that right now does not look good. Uh, yeah, the brew. 
The Demir reanimated brew. Getting crushed by the meta deck. Rack does mid range. All right, just throw it out there. Free, free into my 4 4. Hey, maybe I don't block. Right, there's always the chance. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't know. Like my deck has been drawing kind of poorly, I'd say, on average. I don't know. It feels bad, but then on the other hand, I don't know. What, what I must be like cruelty, huh? Cruelty would be a nice one. Thirty-six cards deep. More invasions, maybe. All right, they finally got to. Uh... Well, the issue is, I just have crashed, <laughs> trespass a copy now, even if I kill the shield with I'll die. To the trespasser trigger, GG. Alright, Spankbuster comes in. I guess Breach comes in, just as another Haymaker card. Razor Lash, not that good against Red Black. Cut down is bad. Shielder is like. Eh. Make disappear to rest. Negate. I kind of like negate. I like to go for the fruit. I don't know about the anti. I don't know about make disappear. Maybe the rest is fine. Doesn't get rid of Trespasser. Hmm, not sure. Poor Bankbuster have to hard carry. I mean, my opponent partly won that game because they had a braid on the Bankbuster on turn two. They just played Blood Tithe Harvester there. We go like cut down, third land, pass. And they have to grind through a bank buster, which, I mean, that's difficult to do. The extra free cards, 4-4. Four, four. Mm, no braid this time, but they own bank buster, all right. I'll go with this one. This sets, this is a nice setup, right? You have bank buster, the 4-4, four, four, and then you have the invasion. If I ever find something to crew this bankbuster, invasion's gonna go down. Mm, okay, that was quick. Well, this could be ugly for my opponent. Huh. Well, now they can block the bankbuster. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Liliana. Huh. You can crew the bankbuster. I think that's. I think that's fine. Hmm. If they wanna if they wanna get rid of the bankbuster, I think I'm somewhat okay with that. He's like, Bankbuster is pretty good here. And sure, like, yeah, this is, this is actually fine with me. It's crazy. It tells you how good Bankbuster really is, right? Like, but I'm a Demir deck. I can't even get rid of it efficiently. But yeah, that, that, like, the game is going to drag out, and then the extra free cards are just insurmountable. And now I have the Bankbuster adva advantage. Sure, that the Ana might die, whatever. I don't care. They also have, they have they have to respect the bank buses, so they gotta keep keep some stuff back. It's kind of funny. Hmm. 
Well, you can actually get an Atraxa to play here, right? I do this. Discard Atraxa. Kill that spirit. Crew. And there I have an Atraxa. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, I guess I don't want to play the land quite yet because I could hit Swamp the rest or something. Boom. Copy that. Ding, ding, ding. Planeswalker. Yes, please. Shipwreck Marsh. Yes. Go for the Throat, Evangel, Bankbuster. Mm. Sounds good. Oh, seven cards in that. Oh, no. Don't mind if I do. It's just a 4-4. Four, four. Not a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, still pretty good. Evoke Despair. Okay, you, you get your card advantage. That's fine. It says Vigilance. Nice, nice, nice. So... 21 cards. Um, I kind of want to see their hand. On the other hand, I also want to be more mana efficient. I could also return this attract, so <laughs> that's a bit overkill. Uh, Sixteen life. Yeah, I'll just just take a look at the hand. Okay, they've seen enough. They're just okay. Cool. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we didn't learn much in that game. They have bankbusters, of course. Maybe maybe I need to rest for the bankbuster. Actually, the more I think about it, especially on a draw, where it can't make disappear that. Okay, that seems reasonable. Might also be able to get rid of a land. Uh, go down to 25. This matchup is kind of grindy, and you have the invasion to draw you an extra card as well. So you're going to flood a little bit with this deck. I really like the Evangel invasion stuff. I think the one cruelty is fine on a draw here. Both. This card is pushed and it's made for this archetype, really. It makes so much sense together. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm not gonna try to go invasion attacks. I just. I'll, pl I'll play like a control deck here. Hopefully, I draw a black land. Yeah, being on the draw and not miss I'm missing a lap drops just it's the end. The standard is not forgiving in that sense. Unfortunately. I mean I, I I had to keep this hand though. Like there was no way around that. Okay, if I hit my land now and they play a shieldred and I get to Liliana the Shieldred, that'd be okay. Well, no, it's over. Okay. Not beating that card in multiples when I'm missing land drops. Uh, I guess one invasion can go. <clears throat> it's kept everything. Mm hmm oh, yeah This Fable card. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
How do I get out of this? How do I get out of this? Maybe I play Invasion and then I'll mill the Atraxa and then I reanimate it next time with Cruelty. Okay. We milled Atraxa. Alright. Okay. Maybe there's a chance. Attack both. Okay. What do you got? Invoke. Boom. Eight to the face. It's good too. It's good too. Hit nothing. All right. I I can only see one line. And we just gotta pray that my opponent does not hit with the Shadra or this Blood Totem. Basically, top seven has to be blanks. Please. Yeah, that's a lot of cards. That is a lot of cards. That's six. Not bad. This card attracts her. And. I can spank Buster. <clears throat> All right, <laughs> I mean, this almost killed my tracks, uh, six damage, kind of funny, almost. Miss, 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 plus one and miss. Mm, that's not a miss. That is 10 damage to my face, and I sack my Atraxa. GG. Okay. Demia Reanimator. Hmm. Ah, uh, it looks sweet. It kind of makes sense. I don't know. Like, a free mana card that just makes you upon discard and, and draw is, um, and, and mill free, I suppose, is, um, it's not quite standard playable these days. It's just too slow, right? Um, you, you have to have board impact. And it wasn't as easy as I hoped it to be to flip this thing. You kind of need, like, more creatures, I feel like. Or, I mean, you could play the card Render Inert, remove five counters from a permanent. Um, Cemetery Desecrator, like we did in the in the Alara, Invasion of Alara deck. Um, yeah, just, I don't know, it just didn't feel like enough pressure to really get the four counters away and uh yeah i mean you, you get the usual problems that the reanimator decks also have that of course if you attack the graveyard it's bad and then you're playing blue black when you really if you want to win the mid-range fights you probably have to play red right fable blood type you have a braid for the bank buster Playing blue black in a world of, of Grixis and red black mid range and, and all that stuff just uh, sounds like a losing strategy. So, unfortunately, I, uh, my verdict on this deck is that it is not very good right now. It is a sweet deck though, and hopefully, we get even more stuff for this to support it. Or a, maybe they will ban Fable of the Mirror Breaker at some point, and then we'll have finally a lot more playable decks in the format. Alright guys, this is going to be my last video before I leave tomorrow for Minneapolis. You will get this uh, sometimes during the week. Um, so there will be a little bit of a break for videos. Uh, you can again check me out on the Pro Tour. I'll post it a little bit on Twitter. And I'll be in Testing House with Team Channel Fireball this time around. So uh, the GOATs, yeah, uh, pretty awesome. Uh, pretty excited about that. And uh, well, I have a long flight ahead of me tomorrow. So yeah, thank you for watching as always. Wish me all the luck and uh, be excited about what I'm going to choose to play in Standard. The deck lists will be revealed on Friday. All right, guys. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in a week.